back in time now, what was kind of the time frame? I mean, was it like, you know what? I want to get a buyer's agent. And then you just started going out looking for people. No. You're talking to coaches, talking to your broker at the time. Like, what was that whole evolution like? God, I, we're going in the way it, we're going in the way back machine, and it wasn't that long ago. But mm. life has been so jammed up since I did that. Yeah. Um, honestly, I think that it was less about finding a buyer's agent, and it was more about accepting that I was ready to manage somebody else, and was also accepting that. Um, I was able to create enough business that I would be able to not only keep myself busy and pay my bills, but to create enough business for another human being. Hmm. That's a, a, to me, it felt like a, an enormous responsibility. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of genetically and, and culturally coded for more of a lack mentality than an abundance mentality. Uh, my people are not well known for taking huge risks. It's just mm. not something we do. Um, so now I'm going to get a whole bunch of hate emails from Chinese people. I'm sorry, but you know, <laughs> uh, okay, maybe I'll just own it for me, not my, all my people. <laughs> but that, but that was that was a huge that was a huge thing for me. Mm. And I think that accepting a the responsibility for a buyer's agent was fairly close on the heels of accepting the responsibility uh, or accepting the challenge of opening up an entire brokerage. I think it's all wrapped up in one and it had a lot to do with just getting outside of my own self-imposed limits. Hmm.